Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker with Camping World and today we're going to go over the 2018 Keystone Montana 3811 MS, also known as the Master Suite. This is an awesome floor plan. They came out with this one about a year ago. You have the beautiful rear living back here with the dual opposing slides, opening up your living area, giving you a nice big kitchen. And up front is the master suite, which is beautiful. If you plan on spending a lot of time in here, really gives you a nice big bathroom area. Let's start off over here on our campsite slide. Uh, you'll see right here, you know, they made this change about a year and a half, two years ago. They went to um, kind of the buffet style table, which I really enjoy uh, for a couple different reasons. One, as we'll see when we go outside, it gives almost every floor plan an outside TV. The other thing I like about it though, you know, it takes a lot of motor ho or motor home inspiration. And if it's set up just like this, it's perfect for two people. If it's only gonna be the two of you, you know, the table's nice and small. You can easily walk through here, nice big walkway. If you have additional guests, there are two folding chairs and it's super simple to accommodate them. All you have to do, there's a little uh, knob here, you pull on that, that'll allow you to pull the table out like so. And there's also a leaf in it. The leaf slides out just like that, push it right back into place and look at that. Now you have plenty of room for four people. Just as quick and easy to put it away, you can just kind of lift the table up. This slides right back in and down. You just pull this uh, lever here one more time, push the table in, and there you go, just like that. Right over here, you'll see they have a pop-up power tower, which is neat too. So if you're working, you need to plug some stuff in, you can pull this guy up. It has two standard outlets as well as two USB ports. When you're done, there's a little red button right here. You can just push that button. That will allow it to sync right down back in. And you have an additional fixed electrical outlet down below. So plenty of outlets there, whether you're sitting at the table or in the theater seating, which I'll show you in just a minute. Beautiful big windows here as well. One of the things I love when a manufacturer is able to do, and again, one of the reasons I really like the fact they went to the buffet table, is the majority of their floor plans have your table on the camp side. And this is where you wanna sit and have breakfast, your morning coffee, because this gives you a view out to your campsite, not staring out at your neighbors. So you can sit here, enjoy it with the nice big windows, beautiful roller shades here, which I like the fact they went with like the beige instead of the black, because that way at night when you do close everything up, it helps brighten it up. It's not super dark in here. Uh, also, you'll see you have windows on the sides of the slides. With the exception of a front cap window, every window in a Montana opens. So you wanna talk about some awesome cross ventilation without having to turn on your AC, this unit will certainly do it for you. So you move over a little further, you get into that dual theater seating. Uh, I love theater seating. You know, this is something you see in a lot of floor plans, especially the rear living ones like this. Um, and it's perfect. It's set up straight across from the TV, which is exactly what you want. You don't want to have to crane your neck. And you know, on the longer days, you can really sit back and relax. These are super comfortable. You basically melt into them. You'll see you have cup holders here in the center, as well as a center console with some extra storage for your remotes. Both sides also have a, an additional cup holder. The cool thing about these though, if you come up here and take a look, uh, one, you do have a light, so you can push that. It kind of lights up this ring in here, which is pretty neat. But even better is you have power to open and close your theater seating. One of the biggest problems I see with the theater seats, especially, you know, if you're a little bit older, sometimes you don't have the leg strength. You know, it takes you a couple times to try to kick that back in to lock it in place. This makes it super simple. Touch a button, it does everything for you. So I really do like the fact that Montana went to that. Right up top here, you have good additional storage. You see you have like this nice frosted glass right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, you open that up. There's not a style here either. So if you do have some larger items, you know, maybe you wanna bring some board games or something in case you have guests over, you can actually fit those in there. Then over on the sides, you have the uh, beautiful raised panel cabinetry. You can see that there as well. Bunch of LED lights. One of the other things Montana does very well is it is extremely well lit. Uh, for me, myself, I, I really like having a lot of lighting. I don't like, again, when it feels dark and dingy, so I love the amount of LED lights here. You can see they have four above the table. They have two up top. They even have an additional one right here. So if you are sitting there reading a book or something again, it is nice and bright. Take a quick look up at the ceiling. Speaking of lights, you have a ton of lights here as well. You have lights in the ceilings themselves, your LED puck lights, 
You have a fan right here with the light. Beautiful light over the, uh, the center island right there. We'll get to that a little bit more when we go into the kitchen. Then if you take a look up at the trim up top here, you'll see you actually have auxiliary lighting behind that as well. So again, you know, it is nice and bright in here. And of course, you can turn those off, you know, if you uh, want it a little bit darker watching a movie, something like that, obviously you can control the lights too. Another thing I do want to point out, a couple things actually. One, you have a barreled ceiling in this coach. Not only is it a big fifth wheel, but that barreled ceiling really makes it seem nice and tall, which is great. It also gives you more even insulation because both the inside and outside have that same curvature to it. Another thing you'll notice is instead of having your big white box, you have the air returns right here in the side, or the air intakes rather. Uh, that's really cool because that represents this has a quiet, cool AC. One of the great things about Montana, again, one of those awesome changes they made. Not only do you have one in here, you have one in the bedroom as well, which we'll see in just a moment. But the Quiet Cool is about 30 to 35% quieter than your standard AC, which is a huge deal. When you're back here trying to watch TV, trying to have conversation, you're not going to have to yell at each other. So I like the fact that that is a standard. Then right along the back wall is a trifold sofa. This is a great place to, you know, have your guests sit again to have that conversation, uh, be able to entertain people. If you want to lay down and watch TV, you can certainly do that right here too. And this does fold out into a bed. So if you do want to have guests stay the night, uh, the trifold sofa is a nice, comfortable bed they can sleep on. They want to have a bar in the back or have an air mattress that's going to deflate on them. Again, windows all the way around. All these do open up. If you get to back up to beautiful, you know, oceanfront, uh, lakefront, something like that, you can, of course, open that up and enjoy the view out the back here. Again, LED lights. You'll see you have four lights right in this immediate vicinity. Help uh, lighten that up a lot. You also have the four doors going all the way across. This one, they do have the frosted glass on there. Uh, but again, you know, I like the job they did. It looks, uh, looks quite nice. Then moving over right over to here, this is your entertainment center. So they changed this up a little bit as well. Um, you'll see right up top here, you have nice big open area there. So if you have some knickknacks and stuff, that's a great place to put it. Uh, right underneath is your TV here. And then as we go down a little bit further, you see you have some speakers on the side. This little glass part right here, it's just a simple push, push magnet. So you push it in, kind of pushes it out, which lets you lift your fingers up there. And you will see inside you have your multimedia center right here. This is your radio CD and DVD player there. Controls your speakers. You can see you have several speaker zones. And then you have uh, some storage over here to the side as well. And then right down below is the new style fireplace. Um, so like I say, when I, I say they make some changes, this is kind of what they call like a... 2018.5 if you will so they have some of the newer changes in here and this is one of them this beautiful fireplace i really like it you know it, it, they extended it out it's a lot longer still puts out an amazing amount of heat so you know if you just want to take that chill off at night you don't want to run propane you can turn this guy on and it looks super cool so if you do have guests over turn that on it really helps kind of set that ambiance moving in a little bit further we get into the kitchen Beautiful solid surface countertops as you would expect from a luxury coach. You'll see that all the way throughout the kitchen area here. They did go back to their older style sink, which, you know, honestly, a lot of people loved. A lot of people wanted it back. And the thing I do like about it is your main bowl right here is still massive. You can see how nice and deep that is. So if you do have the bigger uh, pots and pans, you can fit them down in there, still wash them nice and easy. Rinse bowl, of course, is a little bit smaller. And you have the more modern high-rise pull-out faucet right here. As I had mentioned, you do have the light up top, so you have great lighting there. Auxiliary lighting up above that as well, uh, just for that extra aesthetic. While we're up there, something else I do want to mention. You'll see you have your uh, Max Air fan right here. This is a sweet vent fan. You want to talk about really moving some air. If you don't want to run that AC, open some windows, turn that guy on, and it really pushes it out. The other thing that's cool though is this is actually prepped for a third AC. So if you do want a third one, you can have it installed right there. Uh, you have electrical outlets on the island as well. So if you need to plug some things in, whether it be, you know, electric griddle or if you have a blender or something like that you want to plug in, you can certainly do that. And then as we come around to the front here, you see a couple full extension drawers on either side. You got to love that. It's one of the things Montana does a really good job of is storage. Right here, you have a nice trash can. Pull that out. You know, I love when manufacturers uh, give you a designated spot for a trash can because that way you don't have to worry about where to put it. You don't have to, you're not going to have a trash bag hanging out, especially in a high-end quality coach like this. So we open this up. 
As you would expect, you have sink top covers. This is something Montana did about two years ago. I think it's awesome. They just built a nice little wall there. They give you a spot to put those sink top covers because far too often you take them out, you don't have a spot to put them. So, you know, nice simple solution there, but it's very effective. Obviously, you can put those on the sinks. This whole island here becomes prep space. Uh, right over to the side, we'll open this up for you. Look at that, nice pantry. You know, this is something, again, more manufacturers have been doing. I'm glad that they have it in here. You usually spend a lot of time in a coach like this. You know, maybe you're standing it several months at a time. You have to have spot for food. This certainly allows for it. Then an LED light in there as well, so that way you can see at night as you open that up. Moving up a little bit further here, uh, over to the side, you have a nice little spice cabinet. At least that's what I would put there. You can see you have a wine rack across the top. You know, even if you're not a wine drinker, still kind of a classy look. And then underneath that is your convection microwave oven. Uh, one of the things I really like that Montana does is they give you both the options. We'll see you have an awesome standard oven here as well. But if you like the convection, it cooks nice and fast in here. It's easy to clean. Obviously, it still works as a microwave and it's huge. You have a 30 inch microwave right there. So you have some bigger items you want to put in there. Not a problem. Then directly underneath. So again, you have some more prep space right here. If I had a coffee maker, this is probably where I'd put it. You have the power tower there, so you can just plug it in, you know, kind of set the coffee maker in front of it, so you're not gonna see that anyway. But if you don't have one or you don't want anything there, great, you can keep that down, just have it look nice and pretty. Over to the side, the upgraded cooktop. This is really sweet too. You know, it's nice and flat. It's very residential looking. You have the nice, uh, the grates on here. The middle one is super high output, so if you need to boil water in a hurry, that's the one you wanna use there. And with that cooktop, you also get this oven. Take a look in there, nice big oven, but honestly, my favorite part about the oven is the fact it has electric igniter switch. No longer do you have to light a match and get in there and have your arm half blown off, you know, lose all your arm hair. You just uh, flick a button and it will ignite for you. So definitely awesome oven upgrade there. Bank of four drawers running down the side. You know, they give you a silverware holder here or remote holder in this case, but uh, great storage all the way through as you'd expect, you know, you have to have a spot for your silverware, your bigger utensils like your spatula, spoons, things like that. And then right here underneath the oven is more storage. This one does have the residential refrigerator in here. Uh, Samsung 18 cubic foot. Now remember, because it's residential, it runs only off electric, um, you know, as do your power chairs. But again, they expect you, you know, to have shore power, most likely you're gonna take this. It's not a small coach. You're not gonna fit it into a lot of tight places. But when available, I really do like the residential refrigerators. Uh, the reason being, they cool way faster. You know, if you have an RV refrigerator, you have to have it running basically overnight to have anything cool down. Not the case here. You know, hour or two and it's nice and cool, just like your refrigerator at home. 18 cubic foot again, so plenty of storage. Some crispers there. Right underneath, you have your uh, freezer. You can see that right there. This guy pulls out. Also has an ice maker built in. Another reason that I like it. You know, I myself, I like to have a couple cocktails when I camp, and so having ice uh, made is really handy for me. Right over here to the side, you can see you have this nice hutch. They have this kind of cool decorative backsplash right here. You know, obviously it's purely for aesthetics, but I like it. You know, it adds a little flair. You can see storage up top. Again, they went with the glass in the middle and the uh, raised panel cabinetry on the side, but good storage all throughout there. Over to the side here, you can see you have an electrical outlet. So again, if you wanna put your coffee maker here instead and have like a coffee bar, you can do that. LED lights help brighten it up. Then as we take a look underneath here, you'll see you have great storage throughout. One of the things you notice is this one right here has your central vac. This is super simple and easy to use. If you haven't seen one before, it comes with a bag full of a bunch of hoses. You can plug it in right there. Makes it nice and easy to vacuum up. This one also has the uh, toe kick here. As you make your way up the hall here, there are a couple great features. One of them is basically as soon as you step into the doorway. You'll see right here, they have a great place to hang your jackets up. So you come in, you can hang up your coat, sweatshirt, whatever it may be there. Then right up top is your control panel. Uh, I like the fact Montana does this. One, it's high, so if you do have kids or grandkids, they're not gonna be messing with anything. Two, everything is nice and centralized. You don't have a, you know, a million different controls everywhere. This one is pre-wired for solar as well, so if you want a fixed solar panel, uh, it's nice and easy to have that installed. Over to the side, you have a huge, beautiful window here in the hall. This lets in a ton of natural light during the day. Again, this is a very well-lit coach, which for me, I really enjoy. 
Then over to this side here, you have this nice little area, kind of a place to hang up keys there. Now, right here, uh, we go into the bathroom. Now, the cool thing about this, again, is this is a master suite. So it's a great couples coach, kind of has that ensuite feel you get, uh, you know, in a house where you have the master bedroom with a master bathroom. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. One of the things I like they've done is last year, uh, Montana came out with what they call a pivot door, or basically the door kind of pivots. But people didn't really care for it. It was a little odd. Uh, you know, it didn't always work the best in this floor plan because the way it was set up, there's some storage right here. So I really like the, what they've done, and that's they have a swing arm. So basically what this is, is this one still pivots just like it normally would. But as you can see, I still don't have enough room to get in and around from this side. So it, have a, it has a swing arm. That way you can actually push it, allowing me to easily enter the bathroom from either direction. So I really like what they've done with the door here. I think, uh, again, it was a great job. Right over here in the corner is your toilet, foot flush lever, porcelain toilet. Again, as you would expect in a high-end coach, this makes it nice and easy to, easy to clean having that porcelain bowl there. This is cool. You have the nice barn style door leading into the bedroom. So, you know, obviously if you do have guests, you can close that off. But uh, again, just a nice aesthetic piece there. We'll go up there in just a moment. Uh, but first, if you take a look right over here, you can see the beautiful sink top and vanity. Solid surface in here. You know, they didn't cheap out. Uh, you'll see the bowl is molded in. So that way you have less chance for leaks. A ton of countertop space throughout of course, your electrical outlet off to the side if you need to plug in curling iron or hair dryer. Great storage up here in the mirrored medicine cabinet. And then you have additional storage right down below here. Over to the side is the shower. One piece residential shower. If you take a look at this, you can see that you, know, you don't have any seams or anything. So again, less chance for any leaks. You'll notice I have plenty of headroom here. You know, you don't have any issues. If you're a really tall person, you can certainly still shower in here. You have a seat over to the side, which I really like it when it's here. It makes it, you know, for uh, for my wife anyway, she likes it rather. Makes it easier for her to wash or shave her legs if she has to. You know, or if you want to be able to sit and shower, maybe, you know, uh, you know, you're afraid of falling or slipping in the shower. You can certainly sit on the seat right there, grab the hand wand, makes it nice and easy to wash off. You'll also see you have shelves in here for your shampoo, conditioner, things like that. Tri-slide glass door, which is really nice. Then you have some other shelves here on the opposite side. Up top, you'll notice you have the, uh, the skylight there, let in a lot of natural light, and of course, plenty of LED lights there as well. Then right over here to the side, this is really nice. We'll open this up here. Uh, you can see you have a nice linen closet running all the way down, so you can roll up a couple towels, be able to stick them in there. And of course, directly up top, there is your uh, vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. As we move our way up a little bit further, let's go ahead and step into the, the ensuite part, right? The part that connects the bedroom to the bathroom. And you can see this right here. And you want to talk about clothes storage. This is it. If you're looking for something to live in, you know, part-time, full-time, you have plenty of clothes storage here. And speaking of full-time living, one other thing I do want to mention with Montana that's really nice is they do recognize full-timers. A lot of manufacturers out there, if they find out you're living in it full-time, will pull the warranty out from underneath you. Not the case with Montana. Let's go ahead and open these doors up right over here. If you want a washer and dryer, this is where it would go. You'll see you have your washer prep right over to the side here. It tells you where the dryer vent will go. So that's what this space becomes. If you don't want washer and dryer, you'll see right up top you have that hanging rod. So this becomes all wardrobe space. Directly underneath here, you have two nice large pull-out ball bearing drawers there. So, you know, good storage over there on this side. Look at this, a spot for shoes. Or if you have a bunch of folded clothes you want to put in there, you can do that too. But I like that storage. Again, four full extension ball bearing drawers over here as well. And then you have nice big wardrobe here. So, you know, again, if you do have washer and dryer, you still want hang space, not a problem. You have plenty of it there. As you can see, the 3811 has a nice open bedroom space as well. You are able to have a king size slide out bed here. So as you'll notice, plenty of space to be able to walk around and you know the bed's nice and big so you're not gonna elbow each other in the middle of the night. You have a shelf there if you need to charge a cell phone, electrical outlet there as well. Nice leather headboard, LED lights, and then a window over to the side. You also do have storage underneath the bed so you can lift that up for additional storage. 
and the mattress itself is an iRelax sleep system. This is a comfort memory foam. And I'm telling you, a lot of manufacturers out there, you know, you, you buy a, uh, an RV, you immediately have to replace the mattress. Not the case here. This is actually a really comfortable mattress. The foot of the bed, you see you have a nice uh, chest of drawers there, a dresser for some extra clothes, whatever else you want to put in there, electrical outlet right up top, and then above that you have a TV. So if you want to watch a show, a movie before bed, you can do that. If you look at the ceiling, you'll see again you have those air intakes because as I had mentioned, you do have the second uh, quiet cool AC here in the bedroom. And one of the other cool things is this right here, which is what I'm sitting on. You have a couch across the front. It gives you a nice extra lounging area. Uh, you know, it gives you a spot to sit down, to put your, your socks on, your shoes on, your pants, whatever it may be. And there is storage underneath this as well. It's nice and easy to get to. You know, you simply have to lift the pad up. You can see the little finger hole right here. Now this one is full. You'll see you have your foldable chairs in there. But again, you know, I like the fact that you have that extra storage space. You'll also notice you have electrical outlets, so if you need to plug anything in, you can do that. And then this shade behind me is actually a power shade, so it's, you can just touch a button to uh, lower this down or open it back up, because on the other side of that is a beautiful front window, which we'll see in just a moment when we go outside. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Montana 3811 MS. Starting right up front, you have the beautiful front cap here. They do have redesigned graphics. Uh, you'll see that they kind of have a different shade of brown up front here. Same thing on the sides, a little bit lighter. It's a little more of the oyster color than what they had before where it was a little darker. Uh, they changed the mountain up a little bit too. But all in all, still very similar to what they had the year before. Still has nice clean graphics on there. Big, beautiful front window. You have the LED lights right here on the side. And then the mirror here in the center. That way as you're backing up, you can easily align the kingpin and the hitch. Now one of the changes they did make on the 2018 and a half was they went with a different manufacturer for the kingpin as well as uh, for the suspension system. And the main reason was the suspension and we'll get to that in just a moment. But they did go from the more ride to the Rotaflex hitch here which essentially has a pivoting head which helps control some of that bucking and chucking. So we take a look underneath right up front. We'll open this guy up here. You'll see the front storage in a Montana is super clean. They do a great job. You don't have a bunch of stuff laying everywhere, sitting out. Uh, battery box right over here to the side. One of the things that is nice and easy to get to, too, is the battery disconnect. You do have a second door right here. Um, actually, I'll open this up for you so you can take a look here. But so your battery disconnect is straight in here, which is nice. Nice and easy to kill all power to the coach. Also, your hydraulic fluid is in there. So, you know, uh, you want to make sure you check that periodically. It does have hydraulic jacks as well as slides. So you want to make sure that you uh, get in there and fill up your hydraulic fluid once in a while. So we come around to this side. Beautiful exterior. Again, as you would expect from Montana. Nice high-end fiberglass on there. One of the things I love about this floor plan Take a look at the awning coverage. You have a massive awning right here in the main uh, home portion. Then over to the side on that slide out, you have a second awning. So you can roll these out. You almost have complete awning coverage on your camp side of this fifth wheel. So uh, I think that is absolutely phenomenal. Right up top, if you take a look at the roof line, you'll see that the uh, roof does come down over that side wall a little bit further. They call that a rolled roof edge, which is nice. That way, if you do brush up against anything like a low-hanging tree branch, because it's a bigger radius, less chance to tear that membrane open. Uh, you'll also see a frameless windows on here. Frameless windows definitely look a lot better. Uh, the other advantages to them is that you can have them open while it's raining. They tilt open essentially, so that way you can still get a nice breeze coming in without a bunch of rainwater coming in. And the seals themselves are tucked behind the glass. They're not getting beat up nearly as badly by the elements. Both sides of this window, you notice there are outside speakers. Believe it or not, that is something that's new to Montana about two years ago. They had it on their old high country line, as, or uh, sorry, on their old mountaineer line, as well as the high country. But they did not bring it to the actual Montana until a couple years ago. As I had mentioned, we were inside. Those are connected to that multimedia center in there. So that way it's nice and easy. That unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here with your cell phone or tablet, you know, you can just control everything via Bluetooth. Right over here to the side is one of two propane tanks. You have a 30 pounder on this side, same thing on the other for 60 pounds of propane. 
Then right here is the pass-through. One of the other things Montana has done is uh, as long as you don't have a slide right here on this side, they've gone to magnets instead of a strut. That way you can get this all the way up and out of the way, which I really like. Uh, you know, that way it's not sitting out here being a, a head knocker as you're going, uh, you know, from one part of the campsite to the other. And if you take a look in there, you have massive storage. The reason that Montana has such big storage compared to a lot of manufacturers out there is because they utilize what is called drop frame construction. If you take a look underneath with me real quick, you'll see what I'm talking about. You can see this I-beam right here. Notice how it stops. The rest of the I-beam is actually up top. So they run your main I-beam, then they drop this one down. It's a slightly smaller one. Still has excellent structural integrity and it gives you this massive pass-through storage here. If you take a look inside, you see you have an electrical outlet casing to plug anything in. Uh, your central vac is there as well. That's going to be your dump so you know where to clean that out at. Right over here to the side is another electrical outlet. So if you don't want to get in there to plug anything in, you can certainly use this one right here. This does have slam latches on there. I showed you it was magnetic. I love the slam latches because they work. It's a nice heavy duty door. You shut it just like that. It slams like it's supposed to. Covered hinge, that way you don't have rust coming down your door. Speaking of doors, let's talk about the main entryway. They've made a couple changes here over the last year or two as well. Uh, they went to the more ride step system. They've gone through a couple of iterations of this. The one they've landed on right now is pretty sweet. Uh, so first of all, if you've never seen the more ride step system, the reason I love this thing is because it is super sturdy. Um, it folds up into the doorway to put away, which I'll show you in just a moment. You have the legs here to adjust the height, but look at this. I mean, you can jump on this thing. The coach doesn't move. It doesn't rock. You know, if you have bad knees or, you know, the getting in and out sometimes feels a little shaky to you, this is definitely the way to go. So what they did is before you kind of folded this thing in, had a little locking mechanism, they've actually gone to a strut. So you can see right here, this thing barely moves. So it's super easy to lift up and take back down. You simply fold it into the doorway just like that, shut the door, you're on the road, get to the campsite, you pull it right back down. So I think that's a, a great um, change that they made in the more ride step system. It's pretty darn cool. The other thing they did is this grab handle right here. Because the stairs go out so far, Montana actually has a longer grab handle on here. So that way from the very first step, you have great control. You're not reaching forward to grab that. So this is bigger than even most of the uh, foldable grab handles you see out there. Little badge right here does show this one is good for four season living. Uh, as I had previously mentioned, even if you're full timing in here, you'll still keep a warranty. You have your closed and heated underbelly, so even if it's freezing out, your tanks and lines and stuff still won't freeze up on you. Right here's that outside uh, TV, that entertainment center. I mentioned this is one of the cool things about the booth style dinette. Most floor plans have this now. And again, you have the awning on the slide, so that way you can sit here underneath some shade. There's a slide there. And uh, you have LED lights there too, so uh, that way you know if you want some light at night, you can just flip that switch right on. When you come around to the back side, You'll see right here you have a rear mounted ladder. This will allow you to quickly and easily climb up onto the roof. It is a fully walkable roof. As with any RV, I do recommend getting up there a few times a year. Uh, so that way for any kind of preventative maintenance, you can just get up there and check things out. But this ladder is great to have. That way you don't have to worry about bringing uh, another ladder with you and taking up the space in the pass through there. This is that big, beautiful rear picture window I had showed you when we were inside. And right above that, you will see this one is prepped for a backup camera. So if you want a backup camera, that makes it a lot less expensive to have installed. Another cool feature I like is take a look at that right down there. It does come equipped with a hitch. So if you have like a big bike rack, you know, you want to be able to take like four bikes, something like that, you can go ahead and put that right in the receiver and you are good to go straight from the factory. So a little bit earlier, I talked about switching suspension systems, and this is what Montana has gone to, which is the Trail Air Road Armor. It's a great suspension system. Essentially what it is, is you see you have a pivot arm there in the center, and it allows for about an inch and a half travel in either direction, so you get a total of three inches, because if it goes down an inch and a half on one side, it goes up an inch and a half on the other, and that will control both the leading and the trailing spring arms. Uh, this does a great job. It does use rubber components, takes out uh, a little over 30% of the road chatter that's coming from the road. So again, it definitely does help give you a lot smoother ride. So we take a look at the off door side here. You'll see as you open up the uh, pass through, you have this awesome convenience center. 
Uh, again, this is something great that Montana does, and some other manufacturers do this too, but it just gives you everything, you know, basically right here. I mean, you can see you have your outside shower there with hot and cold water access, light up top. Everything for winterization is here. You know, you can see you have the switch right over here, water heater bypass. That's where you're going to put your antifreeze in, turn the pump on, you're good to go there. Uh, city water inlet, black tank flush there, of course, your uh, valves. You know, again, these are nice and insulated, so it's four season capable. You have another battery disconnect right in here. So, you know, if you're not getting power, make sure you check the battery disconnect up front as well as this one right here. All your cable inlets and everything are right there as well. The only thing that's really outside of that is this right up here, which is your auto level. And again, that's nice and easy to get to. Fantastic system. You literally touch a button, walk away. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018.5 Keystone Montana 3811MS. For price and availability, please click on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.